Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with your audio service not responding. So, you might be on this video for a variety of reasons, and I just kind of want to go down the list as to what I would recommend checking on first. First thing I would actually suggest would be to make sure your physical speaker is turned on. So if there's a power button, make sure it's turned on and lit up. So maybe it's been disconnected from the wall, or perhaps you just haven't turned it on. So definitely go ahead and try and enable that. So try and turn that on first and foremost. Next thing I'd recommend trying would be in your system tray. If you notice your sound icon has a little X next to it, that means your system audio is turned off. And just click inside of it one time, so click on the icon. And then you should have a scroll slash dragging functionality that you can go ahead and increase the volume. So I'd recommend going ahead and checking that as your next option. And if you're still having a problem after that, another thing you can go ahead and try here would be to open up the star menu, type in services. Best match should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. And from this list, you want to locate the Windows Audio service. So you may have to scroll down near the bottom here. You can also sort the list alphabetically or in ascending or descending order. It just seems to be taking a little bit of time in my case here. So just give me a moment here. So again, you want to locate the Windows Audio service. So right here. Don't know why my search results are taking a little bit longer than usual to load here. So go ahead and again locate that and double click on it. If service status says stopped, you want to select the start option. Set startup type to automatic as well if it's not already set. And you know, just in any case, even if it does say running, I'd recommend stopping it. And then selecting the start option then to basically restart it. So then see that has hopefully resolved the issue, which I believe it should for most of you guys. Another thing we can try here, if we select apply and okay to close out of that, is to open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match should go back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that. And then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy them directly from my description. So just highlight over them and then just right click and copy or you could use the control C command if you are more comfortable with that combination. So either way is fine with me. And you want to go copy the first one. It should start with net local group administrators. Actually they both start with that, but the end differently. So the one says add network service and the other one ends with a local service. So we're going to paste in the network service command first. So I'm just going to right click on the command prompt once I've already copied it to my clipboard. And then I'm going to right click on the top bar of the command prompt window here. Select edit and then I'm going to paste it in. You can also type it in too as you see on my screen if you're more comfortable with that. I just generally feel like there's a less chance you're going to incorrectly type in something that's going to be rejected. So anyway go ahead and hit, and hit enter once it's done. It should say the command completed successfully. And then you want to do the same thing for the second command that I mentioned. So again, I've just copied it off screen so you guys don't see me copying it, but it's going to be in the description of my video, so just copy it. And then go up to the top door of the command prompt, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter. Now I'm going to actually just start addressing this in these kind of videos that you might actually have to expand the description of my YouTube video to see it in the description. Some people just expect them all to be visible without having to click show more for some reason. Even if it says command shown or whatever, there just seems to be some sort of confusion about that. So, so there should not be any confusion to begin with, but you might have to expand the description of my video in order to see these commands in their entirety. So anyway, once you have a blinking cursor, it means they are done. Close it here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as 
always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.